In Japan, the maintenance of railway lines, previously a laborious task, is being modernized with the arrival of a robot that mimics human movements. Meanwhile, in China, a life-sized robot impresses with its abilities and promises to revolutionize the future of the industry. In the United States, a humanoid robot is finally ready for its first job, assembling cars at BMW. Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta, criticizes the pursuit by some companies of a single true AI, likening it to the creation of a god. And in Saudi Arabia, the world's first autonomous air taxi has been licensed to take off. Stay with me until the end for these and other technology world updates. If maintaining railway lines in Japan used to be a demanding task that required a large workforce, this month a new technology arrives to assist in this operation. West Japan Railway, JR West, has launched an innovative humanoid robot, specially designed for the maintenance of railway lines, capable of operating at heights of up to 12 meters, trimming branches, and painting metal structures. Equipped with various accessories, the robot can carry objects weighing up to 40 kilograms, visually reminiscent of characters from the Transformers series of the 80s. After two years of rigorous testing, JR West introduced the robot, mounted on a truck, which will begin its operations this month of July. Controlled remotely by a technician on the ground, who uses glasses connected to cameras installed on the robot's head, the operator has a precise view and audio captured by the equipment, allowing meticulous control of the robot's actions. The technology mimics human movements, such as turning the head, providing an almost natural interaction with the work environment. The robot is equipped with mechanical arms that can be adjusted with claws, blades, or brushes, adapting to different tasks, from using a chainsaw to painting signs on metal bars. The weight of the objects lifted is transmitted to the operator through control levers, ensuring precision and safety in operation. The operator drives the robot from a cabin close to the ground so that he can work safely on elevated tasks, explained Kazuaki Hasegawa, president of JR West. Developed in partnership with a local robotics startup, the robot aims to address labor shortages in an aging Japanese society, as well as improve workplace safety, preventing falls and electrical shocks. JR West emphasizes that increasing the use of robots is crucial to maintaining stable and sustainable railway operations. The new humanoid robot has the potential to reduce maintenance time by about 30%, while providing greater safety in hazardous work environments, such as among electrical wires. A life-sized humanoid robot known as Qinglong made its debut at the World AI Conference 2024, WEC in Shanghai Municipality, Eastern China, on Thursday, impressing attendees with its wide range of human-like movements and capabilities. The open-source general-purpose robot is one of the latest innovations to be showcased at WEC 2024. Standing 1.82 meters tall and weighing 80 kilograms, the humanoid robot was designed to walk, run, jump, and withstand impacts like a human. It can easily grasp and place various objects with a highly bionic body structure, AI-driven system. The robot was developed by the Humanoid Robotics Innovation Center, built in partnership between the national and local governments in Shanghai's new Pudong area. With the facility serving as a high-level research and development platform, as well as a robotics training ground, where Qinglong learns to complete various activities. Tasks such as elaborate household chores or smart manufacturing in industrial environments require a large operating system model to coordinate everything efficiently, said Xing Boyang, director of research and development at the center. In the future, companies and developers in China's humanoid robot industry will be able to conduct in-depth development and continuous iterations based on Qinglong, said Xu Bin, general manager of the center. By 2027, the center is expected to host the training of up to 1,000 humanoid robots, while work continues to promote the application of humanoid robots in more realistic scenarios. Nearly six months ago, the startup figure announced that its shiny silver humanoid robot had landed its first job at a BMW fac. Since then, this general-purpose worker has undergone intensive training for this mission. A new video reveals how far this robot has come. Currently, many of these humanoid robots with AI technology are under development, each with different hardware and learning approaches, but all with the same goal, 
to perform any physical task that a human can do more cheaply and consistently. In other words, replace us in various function. The more they learn, the more robots these companies can sell, decoupling economic growth from population numbers and freeing up a source of labor limited only by resources. It sounds like a futuristic dream, right? But the hardware proves surprisingly capable. Although the AI models that train and control these robots are still in the early stages, they're advancing at an impressive pace. These machines promise to be very different from traditional industrial robots. At Figure, for example, the robot responds using a voice mechanism and an open AI language model, showing a more human and adaptable interaction. We are still somewhat far from having a perfect general purpose humanoid, but the companies developing them want them to perform simple and useful tasks as soon as possible in real customer operations. This serves both to collect data and to educate customers on how to work with these new AI robotic employees. The automotive industry, such as car manufacturing, seems to be a key sector for the initial adoption of these robots. Tesla, with its vast production facilities, also uses its Optimus robot to train and test these technologies. Brett Adcock, founder of Figure, believes that having an external customer who could fire the company if they fail provides a competitive advantage. He highlighted this in a post, emphasizing the importance of real challenges. In the BMW Full Wheels case video, the Figure 01 learns to grasp large and complex shapes with its rubber-coated fingers. It moves these objects without bumping into anything, a remarkable skill for a robot. Another task involves placing a large plate in a jig, aligning it with precision. Of course, there's room for improvement. The robot is not as fast as a human yet. Believe me, the movements will become faster and more fluid over time. The company is not speeding up its footage, which shows transparency and a commitment to real progress. Thus, although there is still a long way to go, the advancement of these humanoid robots is undeniable and promises to transform the way we see and utilize the workforce in the future. It will be fascinating to see how these robots perform in the real world. Another company that is also following this line is the Chinese robotics firm UBTech. It has joined forces with FWW Volkswagen, one of China's first joint venture automakers, to develop a car factory operated by humanoid robots. The partnership aims to revolutionize automotive production at the factory in Qingdao, eastern China, integrating humanoid robots into the manufacturing processes. The collaboration will focus on advancing the intelligence and automation of the factories, investing in the development and refinement of their humanoid robots for industrial use. In early 2024, the company's Walker S robot began on-site training at the automaker's factory. Recently, UBTech also partnered with another automaker, Dongfeng Motor, for a similar exercise. Based on the Walker X model, the Walker S is an impressive innovation in humanoid robotics. It features RGBD sensors and a four-eyed system for exceptional vision, plus a robotic arm with seven degrees of freedom and force-controlled hands, allowing greater dexterity and precision. These advanced features highlight its ability to perform complex tasks with balance and stability, making it a versatile and powerful tool. In practice, the Walker S has proven effective in quality inspection and assembly tasks at the factory. For example, it performs quality inspections on door locks, seat belts, and headlight covers, as well as applying vehicle badges. Now, with the partnership with FW Volkswagen, the Walker S will be employed on assembly lines in Qingdao, performing tasks such as screw tightening, component assembly, and handling automotive parts. Despite the enthusiasm surrounding humanoid robots, experts express skepticism about their real impact on automotive manufacturing. Currently, these robots are primarily used for low-cost tasks such as quality sorting and inspection, while more critical tasks such as welding and painting are performed by specialized industrial robots. In other industries, such as electronics and logistics, autonomous mobile robots have been instrumental in automation, managing order picking, material handling, and transfers between workstations. Saudi Arabia has ushered in a new era in aerial mobility by testing its first autonomous air taxi service for transporting humans. The service uses the innovative electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft without a pilot 
known as the EH216S, from the Chinese company E-Hang. These tests marked a significant advancement with special approval from the Saudi General Authority of Civil Aviation on June 12. Ehang worked with the company Frontend, which assists Ehang in obtaining the necessary approvals in the Saudi market. Abdul Aziz Aldo, the company's president, highlighted the importance of this test, stating that it represents a major advancement in the integration of advanced air mobility solutions into Saudi aviation. Before this, in May, Ehang had conducted a similar demonstration in Abu Dhabi. In addition to the EH-26S, other versions, such as the EH-26F for fighting fires and skyscrapers, and the EH-216L for aerial logistics, also made their debut flight. This test is a crucial step for Ehang to realize its plan to start commercial services in Saudi Arabia, starting with the validation of the GACA for its type certificates in October 2023. The EH-260S received Chinese certification in 2023, and, in April 2024, approval for mass production, becoming the first unmanned aerial vehicle in history to obtain a type certificate. This certificate allows the commercial operations unmanned aerial vehicles for passenger transport. The idea is that air taxis will perform various functions, such as transporting medical equipment, facilitating emergency trips, transporting pilgrims between sacred sites, providing logistical support for cargo transportation. The tests conducted are essential to help authorities establish an appropriate legislative framework for deploying these aircraft. The eVTOL from eHang can carry two people and has a maximum load capacity of 220 kilograms. With compact dimensions, 1.85 meters in height and 5.6 meters in width, it is ideal for urban use. Its eight foldable members allow it to occupy little parking space. At full capacity, the EH-216 can reach a speed of up to 130 km per hour and has a range of more than 35 km. Astrobotic has inaugurated its innovative LSPG, Lunar Surface Properties Ground, at its facility in Mojave, California. This high-fidelity test arena, about 100 by 100 meters, was designed to accurately replicate the topography and optical properties of the lunar surface. Using real maps of the Moon's south pole, created through advanced lunar terrain simulation and modeling tools, the LSPG stands out for its authenticity. This testing platform will be crucial for a wide variety of experiments and technology development, including LiDAR scanners for mapping and navigation, navigation algorithms to guide vehicles and robots on the lunar surface, lunar hovers to explore hard-to-reach regions, robotic systems for performing complex tasks, the LSPG is also capable of simulating the extreme lighting conditions found at the lunar poles, offering an unparalleled testing environment, sensors, and spacecraft system. The LSPG originated from tests conducted by several winning teams of NASA's Tech Rising Student Challenge 2023 to 2024. This challenge involved 30 teams of students from 6th to 12th grade from all over the United States. Student experiments range from terrain mapping and lunar crater detection using LiDAR and AI to water detection and thermal mapping with infrared cameras. On June 21st, the first 15 student payloads were successfully tested, the LSPG, marking the beginning of a new era of educational experimentation. Test field will also be used for the Night in Time PR Season Land Challenge, organized by NASA this year. Universities like San Diego State University, companies, and Astrobotic itself already have testing activities scheduled for the coming months. Astrobotic's LSPG represents not only a technological advancement, but also an unprecedented educational opportunity. It is preparing future generations for space exploration and contributing to the ongoing advancement of space technology. In an interview, Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta, harshly criticized some of his competitors in the field of artificial intelligence. According to him, some technology industry companies are attempting to create a single true AI, which he considers a misguided approach. It's almost as if they think they're creating a god or something. That's not what we're doing at Meta. I don't think that's how it happens, Zuckerberg told YouTuber Ken Souther. The CEO of Meta argues that a god of artificial intelligence, a single superintelligence capable of solving all problems, would not be practical. This is because people's needs and interests vary, which would require several AIs specialized in different tasks. 
Moreover, Zuckerberg criticized closed AI platform, highlighting the benefits of open source AIs. For Zuckerberg, this approach encourages the creation of AIs tailored to individual needs, promoting more innovation and customization. These comments come at a crucial time as Zuckerberg seeks to position Meta as a leader in the AI technology race. However, the company faces challenges such as Apple's refusal to integrate Meta's AI systems and the inundation of Facebook with AI-generated content. Meanwhile, other technology giants have different visions for the future of AI. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, believes that AGI, General Artificial Intelligence, is near and is willing to invest heavily to realize it. Google DeepMind, on the other hand, estimates a 50% chance of achieving AGI by 2028. Conversely, skeptics like Grady Booch from IBM doubt that general artificial intelligence will ever become a reality, citing a history of excessive optimism in the field of computing. The future of AI remains uncertain, and debates like these show the diversity of opinions and approaches within the technology industry. What is clear, however, is that the evolution of AI will continue to be one of the most fascinating and divisive topics in the coming years. The British Army is about to launch a new line of advanced bomb disarmament robots, promising to revolutionize the way we face threats like explosives and hazardous materials. The medium-sized, high-tech T4 robots, designed by L3 Harris Technologies, will be delivered in a batch of 50 units and will help soldiers respond to thousands of calls across the country. The T4 EOD robots are among the world's most capable for operations in challenging and crowded environments, such as subways, airports, and even hospitals, says the president of Airborne and Space Systems at L3 Harris. But what makes the T4 such a special robot? Well, it comes equipped with robust all-terrain tracks and a mobile manipulation arm, allowing it to maneuver easily in tight urban areas, as well as climb stairs and move through narrow corridors on buses trains, and planes. It is the first medium-sized robot with tactile feedback, an innovative technology that allows human operators to feel exactly what the robotic arm is touching. Additionally, the user interface of the robotic arm mimics human hand movement, making training simpler and increasing mission efficiency. Complex tasks, such as opening zippers on bags and glove compartments, become easy and safe keeping operators away from danger. The T4 has a battery life of over seven hours with six BB2590 batteries, the ability to climb stairs and traverse steep terrains, multiple cameras for enhanced visibility, and a range of more than 1,000 meters in line of sight. Lighter and more agile than the T7, T4 weighs just over 100 kilograms and fits inside a truck. Don't forget to like this video, follow our channel, and leave a comment. It helps us a lot. Thank you, and see you next time.